Welcome back. Still Channel Sport this morning and it's time to talk the Nigerian Professional Football League and in particular we'll be focusing on Sunshine Stars, our appointed former Super Eagles defender Austin uh, Gwanvoin as the new um, head coach. And Cecilia, this is um, this one has been ongoing for a while yeah. now. We just got a confirmation. And all yes, that. and yeah, it's it's real now. Gwanvoin is the new uh, coach of Sunshine Stars, and the mandate is a very clear one: try to avoid relegation. And that's it. And Eighteenth on the log now, Cecilia. <laughs> it's a very very tough From job. Eighteen to, games. Yeah, tough job <laughs> to take. Funny. Tough and job to take is a very brave man. Minus seven. So yeah. I think it, th th there's some jobs you get and just say, okay, thank you, I don't want. But mm -hmm. then I think he feels he can do it. Exactly. That's the reason he's yeah. taking it. I mean, Sunshine Stars, they're a very, very big club. I remember there was a time when most of the players were playing in the national team. Ike Shiromu was also unveiled. Unveiled as he well. He is the Correct. Uh, goalkeeper uh, trainer and so for the club. But then both of them, the mandates rescue the club from relegation. Mm. They've got 20 games to, to do, do that. that. Which is do a lot really of games. Do they have the players to do it? That's another question. You do they have, have the personnel? Coach, but do you have the players That's to do another it? Question. Are they going to sign some good players before uh, the season resume in May? That's another big question mm. because they actually need to beef up that squad. And uh, obviously, Sunshine Stars, I mean, the management of Sunshine Stars, they're going all out. I mean, that's why they've decided to bring in uh, these vastly experienced and exposed uh, coaches. Sharon Wicke, uh, we all know his antecedents, um, you know, as a goalkeeper and as a goalkeeper trainer. Austin Gravoin has been there, done it uh, as well. Too. So, um, Cecilia, that's totally different from what they have in terms of uh, the playing personnel, uh, which um, you feel uh, is not good enough. Yeah. And... Um, Fortunately for them, there's still a bit of time to, you know, get in uh, a few players and before the season restarts. Uh, but like I said, it's going to be a very, very uh, tough uh, job. Unlike Tony Adams, who took, who took over <laughs> Granada with just about six games, seven games to go, 20 games is a lot of games, uh, Cecilia, to, you know, to rescue uh, the situation. Yeah. So um, I think they can do it. Uh, yeah, they can do it. Just win, win few games away from home or get some points. But they're not home. easy. They're and not they... easy winning away from home. Aqua United, after yeah. Aqua United went to Sanya Bacha Stadium, Aqua United started very, very low at the beginning of the season. We knew they were awful for three games. They were still looking for their first win. And they went to Kaduna, uh, Kano, mm. Sanya Bacha Stadium. You know the crowd, the intimidation and, and all that won. that comes with yeah, it. Yeah. They won by a long goal. So with that, I think Sunshine Stars can actually go away from home and also get that victory. Not just getting the coach, but get the support. Remember Sunshine Sunshine Stars players were also the players that protested. Exactly. That they were not paid for close to nine months, six months. LMC had there to come to the rescue, pay half there of it go. and all that. So we really don't know the current situation now because when you ask the players, they say, oh, we're okay, we've been paid. Mm. And when they discover that it's getting too much, then they, come, they out come out and start begging, hey, please help us to beg the governor. We haven't been paid and all that. We'll listen to Austin the governor now. What is going to do for Sunshine Stars, how he can keep them you know, at the NPFL at the end of the season? I have a job to do. And the 12 players, the supporters club, we mentioned it as well. Everybody is important. There will be rough times, there will be good times. But the ability to stick together matters. I like what the chairman of the supporters club said. So we have to be up and doing it. We have to be on our toes. I have seen Sunshine play about three games this season. It's not a bad thing. But not everybody that can control their emotions. Situations sometimes can make players you know, lose confidence and concentration. It's not a bad side. But it's only necessary that we bring in some more players in now to fortify the team because we know our set goal. I won't say that, sir. I'm with you all the way. The work has started from today. So I urge everyone here in this in this in this room and people that are also not here who are listening from wherever to try as much as possible to give their best in terms of prayers. And pray for luck as well, because everything you do in life, you need a little bit of element of luck to play a role. But we'll do our best. We'll do our best. And we'll work hard, day and night, because this situation that we are in is not the best. Yeah, a little bit of luck, work, day and night. Mm. Maybe they will just get the result that they needed. Yeah, What's a lot it? of luck, a lot of hard work will be needed surely uh, to avoid relegation at this stage um, of the season. Uh, 21 points uh, from 18 games. Not good. Yeah. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Not good at all. <laughs> but then the, the chairman of the yes. Undo, 
uh, uh, football agency yes. have been talking mm -hmm. about what they actually need. Exactly. To, to and you, just before we went on to listen to um, Austin and Gavon, you were saying something about the management of the club itself, how they have to do their own part uh, to help this thing, uh, you know, uh, stay stay in the top flight. And it's very important. So, um, bring uh, Alec Belayed as the interim chairman of the Undo State uh, Football Agency. Uh, he's also, also been reacting uh, to uh, the appointment of Austin and Gavon. Those social stars as a football team is the daily team of everybody in the I think I'm right. Oh, yes. And the current position is not where we feel they should be. I think I'm right. Yes. We share the love now. Sunshine is either number 18 or number 19. Yes, and sincerely speaking, the social star that I know should be among the very first three teams at the top. Exactly. Yeah, because when football is concerned in Nigeria, social stars is among the guys at the top. I think I'm right. Yes, sir. So if we are in this current situation now, if care is not taken, this team will go on relegation. Because four teams have to go on relegation. I think I'm right. Yes. And if I know by 18, 19, that means we are swimming in the waters of relegation. And I want our brothers in Akure, I know those say to understand, that for this team to move out, we do have to put sentiments there. Like I was talking to the chairman of the Sopotas Club, when they are doing screening for footballers, right there, you just see my face, but I'm not interested in anybody who's a footballer. I want the coaches to pick the best. I have my reputation to protect. If I come here, she do this job for one month. And after one month, we go out. Sunshine still go on relegation. I probably will not show my face in sports circle anymore. And the agreement is that it's not going to get worth more than the former coaches are getting in salary. It's a sacrifice. So, tell us about that I want you to know, based on our personal relationship with them, we want them to come and support this team. Because we are in a situation where we need to swim out of reputation water. That's why I say no sentiment. Exactly. All right? Yes. All the best Sunshine Stars uh, in their bid to avoid their relegation and remain in the top flight.